So basically what you have is a light with a convex shape to it, but the laminex can still be easily and successfully applied onto here. We put some film on both of the two lenses that you sent us over the weekend, and basically we had a few days for it to sit and cure, and what you'll notice is, none of the film is actually lifting up around the edges at all. On both lights, the installation actually came out very well and successful, and cured for days with no lifting. So we know that you guys can have the same success, and this is just going to be a quick little installation video to hopefully help you out. So first, we're going to go ahead and pull this Laminex off. It's pretty strong, and you can tell it doesn't want to come off. Alright, so the first thing that we actually noticed when we received these lenses is that the surface of both lenses was kind of slick. And we want to make sure prior to putting any Laminex on the lens, you clean any of the oils from, say, the casting that was on the lens off. So we're just using kind of a quick detailer. I mean, you could use basically soapy water with some Dawn in there. The key is making sure that you're cleaning the lens with something strong enough to cut through the oils left on the lens and making sure to wipe up the lens thoroughly prior to installing any of the Laminex on it. You want to get all of those oils, those casting oils, off of the lens completely. So now that the lens is cleaned off appropriately, we're going to take the Laminex that was actually just cut into a circular shape customized for this installation tutorial. And obviously the key for this installation is to make sure the Laminex is perfectly centered on the light when we do the installation so that the Laminex is not overlapping the sides of the lens. What happens if it's not centered is the Laminex actually goes over this side lip right here and this side lip is actually an 80 or 90 degree turn and if you try to apply the Laminex over that 80 to 90 degree turn that's where you're going to have some trouble with it lifting. But if you have the film perfectly aligned it will stop right at that lip instead of going over the sides and then you shouldn't have any any lifting issues. So what we do is we kind of take the Laminex and kind of visually look at where the center of the lens would be. And then we kind of gently lay on and tack the Laminex on top. And the key here is to start tacking it down in the center and using your thumb, we're just gonna start doing kind of a circular motion, working our way from the center to the outside edges of the lens slowly. Equally distributing that Laminex over the curvature as the curvature of the lens curves down. Just going around in a circle all the way around. And if we do see the film bunching up in one area, kind of tacking down and wrinkling, we'll lift it back up. And again, we'll kind of just do a circular sweeping motion to apply the Laminex back down. And we can lift it up again because we don't want any large folds at all in one particular area. And as it starts bunching up, we'll start pushing the Laminex down where that actual fold is at. And you'll kind of just work your way around the lens, pushing it down. And you'll notice we didn't use any moisture for this installation. We're doing it completely dry. So there's no moisture on the lens at all underneath the film. So now we have it all applied down, except from about an inch to the edge. And instead of doing a spiral motion now, anywhere it's lifted up, we're kind of just massaging that area down with our finger applying about a quarter inch of Laminex at a time. Just kind of working our way around in a circle, redistributing those wrinkles, pushing that pressure where the film is tensioning up over a wider area. Because the wider that you actually spread those folds, the less likely it is to actually pop back up. And like I said, we're just using our fingers for this installation, but if you were to use a squeegee, you could probably get this installation done quicker. But really, this installation can be completely successful and installed in a matter of one to two minutes. So we're still just working our way around, pushing maybe a quarter to an eighth of an inch at a time, distributing these larger wrinkles into a bunch of smaller wrinkles, and push out over a wider area. The key is to get this film centered, because anything that lays down over that 90 degree lip has a tendency to lift back up. And if you do have any spots that kind of press together and fold up, like this little spot here, kind of lift that big fold back up and massage it back down with your finger, distributing that fold over a wider area. And using this technique, you'll find yourself just pushing the last tiny folds up to the edge of that lip. And then we'll go around the edge and the Laminex is completely installed. And once again, we did this dry with no moisture, so there might be a few imperfections, but letting those imperfections bake for a few days in the sun, they'll actually dry out and the adhesive will bind into the lens, making it look perfect. But that is the best technique for a successful installation, making sure it's centered and applying it down using a circular motion, starting in the center and working your way to the outer edges of the light redistributing those bigger folds and wrinkles with your fingers. So this is the five or six inch light cover. So now we're gonna repeat the same process on the smaller lens. 